everyone. We're here today from KeyDirect.ca reviewing the new key reader by Xhorse. Um, this is the first time I'm looking at the machine, so let's go through this together and see what we have. So you have the button on the to open the slot in order to insert the keys. On the back you have the power cord, which obviously must be connected to power as well as the power button. On the bottom you have a little slot in case you drop the key into the reader, you can just take it out of this side. Let's try to decode some keys, see how it holds up. I did decode these keys prior, so I know the bidding for them. Let's see if it comes up the same. One of the main features of the machine is that it can do plastic keys as well as aluminum keys, which you cannot currently decode on your machines. It will break your probe. So let's start with them, see how it goes. Let's start with the HU66. Identification, put it in. Now it's reading the key. The cut for this one, four, three, four, two, three, one, two, two, four, two. Let's see what it comes up. There we go, four, two, three, one, two, two, four, two. It got this one perfectly. If it does get it wrong, you can always move the cuts around, obviously, uh, to get to the correct bidding. But this one, I did it perfectly. Let's move on to the next one, see how it does. So we got the uh, Range Rover HU101 key, aluminum key. Let's try this one. So let's decode it, read the key. Let's see what it comes out. The cuts for this one, three, five, four, five, three, three, one, one, three, two. Let's see what it identifies. Three, five, four, five, three, three, one, one, three, two. So that looks like it's again correct. As you can see, the bidding on the key. So we got these out of the way. Let's just try a couple other keys, see how it works. So I got here, uh, KK12 for a Hyundai. Let's see how it does with this. Let's hit identify, start. Let's see where it comes up. This one, 1333 4424. 1 Then this one perfectly as well. Next one I got here, BMW H92 key. Let's try this one. The cuts for this one, two, two, three, four, four, two, four, three. Let's see what it reads. So it's identifying the key now. Two, two, three, four, four, two, four, three. Again, that one is decoded perfectly, as you can see. Next one, I got a Chrysler CY24 or Y159. Let's try this one. It's an eight cut. Let's read this one, see what it comes. This one was three, four, three, one, three, four, four, three. As you can see, it got that one perfect correctly as well. And let's see what else we got here. I got a Cadillac B111 key. These generally wear out, so it's a bit difficult to read the uh, the bidding on these. 
once it's worn out so let's see how it does with this let's identify it the cuts for this one two four two four three one three two three five three one so as you can see I didn't put the key in deep enough so it missed the first two cuts let's retry it so go back identification see what it comes up this time two four three one three two three five three one done this one perfectly next one we have GMC HU 100 10 cut So this is the 10 cut. Let's read this one, see how it comes back. The cuts are this one, three, four, two, 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 three, one, one, three, four. Let's see what it comes back with. Three, four, two, 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 three, one, one, three, four. Looks like that one is correct as well. We got as well, let's try a Honda key over here. So let's try to decode the Honda 66. The cuts on this one one four three three five one one three one one five one. This one decoded earlier as a two, not a one. Let's try decoding it again just to make sure. Yeah, and there you go. One, four, three, three, five, one. Other side, two, three, one, one, five. And it missed the last one. It's a two, it's not a one. So again, you can always just go to that one and correct it to a one. It's a Honda, so last one should always be a one. Sorry guys, I forgot to mention, after you decode, you can send the cuts directly to your machine uh, in order to cut it. So I'm gonna show you again, we're gonna do it again to see how that's done. So you identify the key. Once the key is identified, you want to make sure that all the cuts line up properly. At that point, you have the, bu the button at the bottom to cut. It puts it directly on the machine and it's ready to cut. Just put your blank in and go ahead and cut it just like you would normally. Again, thank you guys for watching. From here, We're here from KeyDirect. Available to answer all your questions online, over the phone, or by email. You're more than welcome to contact us with your questions. Have a great day.